The way we define mind in, in Buddhism is that it is a, a, a clear, uh, cognizing continuum. That is to say that it, continuum means something that flows, something that moves. Um, actually, of course, any analogy we make for mind is simply that, because mind is not formless, not formed. It is not material. It is uh, without any location. It is without any any dimensions. So, even to compare it to a stream is still merely a comparison, merely merely an analogy. But in the sense that mind isn't is definitely not a static, fixed entity, a kind of self, which is like a box, something that that is always what it is uh, and separate from the rest of the world. That's not the mind. That, that, that's, that's our fictitious notion of ego, which we project onto the mind. So the first thing is mind is a continuum, a continuum that flows, a continuum of awareness that flows from moment to moment. And precisely because it's not something originated in physical th phenomena, it's, it's something that continues beyond death. Because although the body uh, declines and returns to the elements at death, the mind, because it's not formed out of the body or its elements, simply continues, just as the stream continues. And so mind is a continuum. And it's clear and cognizant, meaning that mind is that which produces all appearances. All appearances of the world are reflected by the mind. Without the mind, there would be no appearances, no appearances of uh, the environment, of the beings within it, no appearances of samsara, of the cycle of suffering, or of nirvana, liberation from suffering. So mind is, is the basis of all appearances. And Mind is that which is aware. Mind is not only that which reflects all appearances, it is aware of all appearances. So mind is therefore clear and cognizant and a, and a, and a continuum, a stream of awareness. That is the nature of, of mind as we define it in Buddhism. And when mind recognizes its own nature, to be both empty, that is to say formless, and luminous, that is to say aware, then that is Buddhahood.